Being a teacher is more than just a job, it's a calling. A, a journey where every lesson helps shape the future. Every word has the power to inspire, and in every interaction helps build a legacy of excellence. You know, teaching is about making connections. The bond between a teacher and a student can last a lifetime, and it's a special connection that can go beyond the walls of a classroom. We all remember that one teacher who made a difference, the one who saw us as special, the one who pushed us to be better, the one who never gave up on us. My favorite teacher was Peter Becknell. You know, he never let me settle for less than he knew I was capable of. My favorite teacher is Miss Hoffman. In third grade, my favorite teacher, they're probably going to have to be Miss Lunkford or Miss Hull. Math teacher, his name was Mr. B. Um, he made math fun. Math was always kind of harder for me. I was always better at English. Um, but when I was in his class, I remember it being really fun. And I was excited to go to class rather than like scared because I wasn't that great at math. But he made it fun and engaging enough for me to where I wanted to go. My favorite teacher is actually my dad. I learned from him that um, to make sure to have those positive conversations with kids and don't give up on kids. And kids have, they have a lot of stuff going on before they get to school. And he was the one that really taught me that, that teaching, teaching students and, and being in education is so much more than the content. And it's so much more than um, the graduation date. It's, it's really getting to know who those kids are. Um, one of the first ones that comes to mind is Miss Olson. She was our music teacher at Rizzuto and she had this like passion for um, music education and for getting all kids engaged no matter how ADHD we were. Um, she gave us an outlet for where we could move and be our, um, our true and authentic selves. Um, she makes math more fun because one time she made a dance about math. Jackson. I love she I love how she's so nice. Um probably the most special teacher I would say is Miss Ripley. She she was my kindergarten teacher, my second grade and third grade, and she's been with me the most here. And we always get to do super fun activities and stuff. She's a great teacher. My favorite teacher was Miss Paget at College Park in first grade. She just always came with a smile on her face. I was only there for, I think, half the year because I ended up having an eye accident. I was in the hospital and they were gonna make me repeat because they were like, oh, she missed too many days. They kept sending letters, but I was in the hospital the whole time. And so whenever they found out that I was in the hospital, she had the whole class make cards, get well cards, and it just really touched my heart. It was super special. Miss Alvarado because she's been always by my side and even since when I was in kindergarten, she always helps me and she always loves me. Even that she's my idea and I always love to hug her when I'm asleep. Oh, my favorite teacher, and she knows this because she was on our campus just recently, is Christy Galasco. She was my fourth grade teacher, loved her to death, and she is one of the very reasons why I am a teacher today. My math teacher, Ms. Flores, she will just step aside all the things that she's doing and for me, she'll just show me how to do the problem and she'll make sure I know it. Her name is Ms. Parsons and she instilled a love of learning for me. She uh, did not, she taught uh, social studies and history and she did not teach from the book. She stood and told us stories and got us interested and invested and we didn't just she didn't throw worksheets and this was back in the 70s so she didn't throw worksheets at us she uh, helped us live it. My teacher is Miss Ortega and yes she is really nice. In the morning when I always get to school uh, my, my teacher always um, greets me in happily. Yes. So as an elementary student, I remember having some maladjusted behaviors. I got in trouble a little bit and one teacher 
literally told me, she said, I can't deal with you anymore and I think it's time for you to try another class. And then I remember being moved to another class, but I will never forget that when I was moved to that class, like it was like an aha moment for me. I remember being this little girl sitting in that desk saying, but that, that wasn't the real story. Like there was more to that situation than you really knew. And I remember my teacher coming out over to me and she knelt down next to me and she said, Yolanda, this is a new beginning. And the fact that she did that for me, like in that moment was everything I needed because it just set my life in a different direction. And then when I got to junior high, I met many amazing teachers and coaches. And then when I got to high school, being a, a teen mom, I, I actually graduated high school pregnant. And so there were so many great teachers that just witnessed to me and encouraged me to keep going. And so it's really hard for me to say one great teacher. There are so many amazing teachers in LaPorte. And I just say, I choose LaPorte for this reason. To all teachers who inspire, challenge, and believe in their students, thank you. As you start this year, remember that you have the power to ignite your legacy.